Okay, why don't we start with a quick recap and bring Varda up to speed since he missed last session. We actually played twice, so a lot has happened since he was uh, around. I've missed two games. Well, we, we did a, play a Saturday Sunday session. Yeah, we did a short session on Saturday, I think four or five hours, and then we did like uh, another four to six hour session on Sunday. Oh, okay. Originally, we when you dropped out, we were like flip flopping on which day we were gonna play, because some people were available on Saturday and some were on Sunday, and we basically created a window on both Saturday and Sunday, and then everyone was available for both, so we just went ahead with it. So, no one's going to explain anything to Barda? Oh, it made it sound like you were about to give a recap. No, I said, does anyone want to give a recap for Barda? Sure, I'll do it. So, you guys had recently apparently been an abolith. Uh... And we're currently searching for its treasure where you found me wandering in the darkness. Uh, it turns out the Aboleth had been storing a bunch of stuff at the bottom of his pool. Uh, they swam down there, got it, which also had all my gear in it. I swore that I would help you with your cause. Um, you're, are you the cleric? Of Tempest? Okay, so he, they mentioned uh, something about the fires of war. Is that Was that what he said? I can't remember. Or Comet. It was more of a Comet, I think, right? Yeah, anyway, the Omen of War. I decided that was more than enough reason on top of you guys already helping me. And the fact that I was pissed off at being a slave to help you guys uh, we then kept going deeper into the underdark uh, we ran into a wizard uh, maybe maybe a lich and uh, we ended up talking to him he was an outcast a drow we end up talking our way through that situation instead of fighting, um, which worked out. Uh, he led us through and pointed the general direction we needed to go to get to the city. I do not remember the name of the city we were headed to. It's not. It's not woo -woo -woo. Yeah, thank you. Uh, well, you don't know how he pronounces it, maybe. Maybe he's just trying to remind me. Uh, and uh, we eventually got there, having to cross a bridge where we fought some demons. Uh, then we went into the city and found that it was, it has a bunch of undead wandering it. Okay, um, why is my son coming to there? Sorry, what was that, Brenda? Did anyone understand what Barda said? I don't know. Uh, something about heading back? Hello? I had some issues with yeah. my headset for a second there. And I'm still having them. I think you guys can hear me based on the green light thing going green. Yes, we hear you. So as our exploration went on, we found, we're told that randomly throughout here, there's people held up, defending themselves from the demons. Um, we end up finding a room full of trolls and goblins. Uh, I had to dip out at that point, but they uh, 
sent them scattering out out of the room uh and then we kind of killed them individually in a way uh and we are now at someone important house and i can't remember so someone else is gonna have to remember that part for me I don't think you have any specific information about this uh, dwelling. Um, it does have like a spire in the back, so it kind of looks like a wizard's tower. Um, but there's no uh, clear markings of uh, its identity. And... I want to say we got a description of the statue here in the middle. Uh, uh, yep. I feel like the description was important, but I don't remember it. What was the description, if somebody remembers? Oh, he just put it up there. Oh, I'll go take a look and show it. A stone statue depicting a regal elf seated in a throne of books dominates the chamber. Three glass tanks uh, line the wall, each containing a creature floating in a bright blue fluid. From west to east, the tanks contain a dress inch, a right. grell, and a mind flayer. They are all dead. Okay, when we left off, Corey had uh, picked the magical lock on the door and opened the door, revealing a pair of uh, web goblins just inside. Um, the map's kind of uh, short, so basically decide where you want to be relative to the door, and we can move on. Um, do we want to destroy these glass tanks? Uh, we got to worry about getting into it first. Oh, we're not inside the room yet. Okay. I guess I misunderstood. Let me update my health. So when you guys are in position and ready to go, we can uh, roll initiative. Wasting my crit right off the bat. I assume the 60 feet is how high up he is? No, that was the last map. I gotta change it.
Okay. Um, you guys can make a perception check. Holy shit. Plus 30. How the hell are you plus 30? Um, oh, it's one less than that. I must have updated my macros after the last session. No, he's talking about me. Oh. You both rolled ridiculous, though. Oh, no. Mine, yeah. mine's, mine's right. Yeah. Well, I have 18 ranks, uh, 12 on wisdom, and then. My luck stone, and then five for synergy. So it's actually higher. Yeah, I was just going to say that uh, is also wrong. Where'd you get a luck stone from? I bought one a long time ago. Bought that part of the, uh, when I sold my air, uh, my water ring. Okay, surprisingly, Quarry and Yogi can hear someone casting spells in the background. And then it's Bardis go. You lose Barda? Oh, he posted. You got a phone call. Okay, we'll skip over Barda and we'll go to Yogi. Seeing the web golem slightly, I will cast freedom of movement. Okay, you doing anything else? Uh, no. Okay, then we're on to Archer. Are the doors fully open? I believe so. So he could take a shot? Yep. And they're flat-footed? Yes. A-S for the uh, DR that is a good question it is adamantine and slashing alright I'll figure out the damage on him Okay, then we're on to Corey. Um. Something died? What happened? Oh. Do I know there's enemies right in front of me? Yes. Um, with 10 points of DR you did 150 points of damage he's got a cluster shot so that 10 points only worked once oh yeah um, uh, Violet will cast prayer everyone's plus 3 
And all you can do is full damage. And she will sing because she can do that. She's got what version of it? I think she's got a fast song. She has quick, which is a free action, right? Or a swift action? Yep. So she will sing a sing as a quick. She will cast prayer as her standard. Actually, prayer is a one of her paladin spells, so she casts that as a free action, a free a uh, swift action as well. So I guess that'd be her move. She will do uh, greater visibility. You also missed three times. Yes. But you notice I'm also doing in the 50s now. Why is that? Because he also got the sneak attack of 1d6 plus 13. Actually, sorry, he's not dead because I did not get to skirmish. I'm so used to always skirmishing. I'll figure out his head points here in a second. All right, then Kari takes a five foot and full attacks the web golem there. Before you roll your second attack, oh. or your third or your fourth, um, you can roll a reflex save. What's the DC? I don't think it's particularly high. If it's lower than 30, I can't fail it. Lower than 30, you can't fail, even with a minus 5 penalty? Uh, what's the minus 5 penalty from? Rolling a 1? We have prayer. Oh, okay. No, I think it's only 22, so it's not really that hard. These are evil, right? Yes. Oh, no, the golems aren't evil. They're um, constructs. All right. I wonder what's wrong with that macro. But do I need to overcome their day their DR? Plus four weapon. So the first hit always overcomes, or the first weapon always overcomes. Oh, you have a plus four weapon now? Yeah, the Holy Anarchic Thin Blade. Oh, yeah. Uh, that's you said they're plus five four five. and holy and chaotic? Yeah, it's plus four holy anarchic Thin Blade, yeah. Holy shit, that's a plus eight weapon. Um. Are these things ever flat footed? Can they be critical? Can they be sneak They attack? are flat footed, but you can't uh sneak attack a golem. They're evil, I could do holy damage to them, right? Yep. They're not evil though. Oh, I thought you said they're evil. I know no, they're golems. Who's the robot? 
I assume that's Barda. It shouldn't be. I have my new ISP came in, and it's been amazing. You sound great now, but somebody was crackly before. Did you take that into Maybe consideration? Maybe that's just for when a person's connected. Did you take Sorry, that go ahead. Did you take that into consideration, uh, Yogi, with your attack, that you don't get any of your bonus damage? I'm, I'm minusing it out now. Um, you said I can crit them, though, right? You can crit them, you just can't sneak attack them. Okay, so one is a possible critical. Which thin blade is that? Two. Uh, that's actually a critical. The 15 is a critical. I need to update my macros to... Oh, I, no, it's because of the prayer that it's on. So it's another critical. So that's two max damages. And then... Oh, and it was attack one, so it was, yeah, whatever. Are you done, Corey? Uh, shortly. Yeah, it's going to kill him. Okay, we'll put the damage on him. Um, okay. Okay, then it is the web golems go. I really should have done another reset uh, or restart because I'm already lagging on roll 20. Okay, so the top one will attack you, Corey. Okay. Oh, for certain, I, my bonus isn't going in. So that should be a 36 for the crit. So 41. 41 is what I have to roll? Yep. Oh, holy shit. Okay, uh, then we're on to uh, Thargor. All right. Uh, guess I will move in and attack oh uh bef when i'm stepping into the room i'll tell everybody that there's somebody casting spells in the back of the room Now you say something. <laughs> well, I would have said that at the beginning of my turn while I was stepping in to attack the guy. So it was before you went. Let's 
so. Oh, is that one to the south already dead? Um, it's not dead, but it's down. Okay, well then I'll just do damage to both of them. Don't forget about the DR. Correct. All right, well, that uh, ends my turn then. Okay, then we're on to Barda. Uh, I'd have to move to their squares to get in there. Would this be counted as uh, flanking? No, but that one's down. No. That one's actually dead now. It's uh, oh. minus 100. I'll try to move to the... Oh, there's one still alive there. Well, I'll have to take the attack opportunity to get in then. What you get an attack about pretty, right? Yep. And I'm it's got a negative because I'm moving out, out of the square occupied by a ally. I don't think twenty five is a hit on you. No. Unless he gets a plus seven for me being in the same spot as Thar Thargor. No, he doesn't get any it. Is it Thargor? What was that? How do you pronounce it? Yeah, I thought it was fine. Okay. I just wanted to make sure. I may as well just attack. There's part of my problem. Um, I had Barda's voice turned up really high because his previous mic setting was terrible. Yeah, I'm using a different headset right now. Yeah, I... I was just trying to figure out why you're so loud in comparison to everyone else. It's because I had you at 120%. Oh, wait, I'll end my turn there. Okay, and then we're back to initiative. Okay, Corey, you're up first. I get to there, I five foot in, and I make two attacks, right? Or do I make half of my attack? You make half of your attacks, since you had to move to get there. I think half is still only two. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, I guess it would be. Or you you don't get to... Are you at six attacks yet? I don't think that's still 20th level. No, I'm at 10. So I guess it's only four, right? Yeah, it would just be your two primaries. Oh, it's two primary attacks? Well, it's your two attacks, and then you get your offhand attacks as well. The problem with saying I get ten attacks and get half of them is four isn't half of ten. It's your armor class, 31. So because of the prayer, those misses aren't misses. Okay, I'm done. Okay, then we're on to Yogi. I'll attack on the weak one. Oh, that's a crit. Prayer works. Yeah, that's double crit because of prayer. And I'm done. What is 197 points? Uh, power attack 15, which is times 3. Oh, okay. It still sounds like it should only be 45. And then times strength times 2, wis plus wisdom, and max damage. Oh, that's that's the total of the crit. Yes. Okay, I thought that was just the extra damage. No, that's what my crit damage is. It's either I did 90 or I did 197. Not, oh, okay. Not I thought together. you did 90 with the primary and then uh, 197 with the crit. I was like, that seems disproportionate. No, it's one or the other. Okay. So I assume that you did enough damage on both to kill them. Uh, yeah, 90... two crits in a row. Well, the first one uh, you did 95 to, right? Yes. Okay, and the 300 points, 400 points will be enough to kill the other one. Okay, then we are on to Archer. He'll stay right there. Okay, for a brief second, you notice uh, Jalant appear, and uh, he casts Time Stop. Okay. 
And unfortunately, I didn't prep my spells for this. But the very first thing he's going to do is move the fuck away. Long dead silence while the DM reads spells. Oh, you get quiet. Are we waiting on something? No, I'm just uh, doing my time stuff. But um... okay, my bad. Then I just wasn't sure. I was make sure I didn't disconnect or something. No, um... creatures are invulnerable to your attacks. You cannot target a creature with with an attack or a spell. A spell that affects an area or has a duration longer starts when the time stop starts so i can use repulsion right away and that's a 10 foot radius per level so that's going to affect everyone so everyone can roll your uh, repulsion save What is it? Um, it is an abjuration spell. Uh, so the DC is 28, 32. Reflex? It would be will, I believe. Yeah, will. Oh, that's not good. Oh my god, Barda pulls it off. I know he's going to pass, but spell resistance 
Oh, it does have spell resistance. Okay. Well, let me pick my last spell for this round, and then I will enter that and go back to do it. Oh, I put in protection from arrows. Um, that's kind of dumb. I will swap that out for heroism. What is the bard's the bard's song? It's morale. Does that go up? I don't know. Read the bard sheet. I'm trying to remember which one it is. Inspire Courage? There's Inspire Courage, Fire. Inspire Competence, and I think there's another one. And yes, they do increase as you level. Okay, so I got rid of Protection from Arrows in that last one and swapped it out for Heroism. Just because I'm using my move action both rounds, so I will not be doing a fast spell. And then I will stay where I am and put that uh, protection from arrows on. I'll put it in as uh, heroism this time. Ooh, Cray makes a save. Nice. Oh, wow. I didn't think he was going to. What was the DC? 32. Oh, Thargar missed it's... it by one. What's, What's the, the range? range? What's the What's... range? Yeah, on, on him, from him. Like, how far does it go? Uh, to the other side of the settlement. Oh. 10 feet per level. And he just cast Time Stop before that. I think this map is maybe 100 feet wide. So at 10th level, it goes right off the map. I imagine freedom of movement doesn't stop this. No, I don't believe so. I, believe so. Well, I don't think I've used, I haven't used any of my luck up yet. So I'll go ahead and lock that up to pass. Oh, wait, no, I already have prayer. Never mind. Oh, you didn't count the prayer? Uh, the prayer's in there. It is. So. So Corey and Violet both make their save. Okay. So th uh, Archer, uh, Yogi, and Thorgar fail. Your token is uh, listed as being Thargor still. Yeah, I realized that. Sorry, just Sorry. picking my last spell. Um, I guess he wouldn't know whether or not Yogi failed. Um, I'm going to go 50 50. Uh, 50 being Yogi, higher being Corey. Did you ever roll your spell resistance? Oh, no, I did not. Oh, wait a minute. Is this guy evil? He is very much evil. Everything ever? here is evil. I think there's only one NPC in this entire place that isn't evil that is alive. Well, I guess there's some animals that aren't uh, evil either. Um... Did I? I said Yogi on the low side, so Yogi will get the interposing hand. So that's three rounds.
Oh fuck, he has five rounds. Oh, for some silly reason, I cast Displacement instead of Greater Invisibility, so I'll swap that one out, too. Okay, so he is done. I'm going to have to go through and put all his details on. 